Hi everyone, welcome to the Leaf Heart Path. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Andrea Graham. I am an intuitive healer, a Reiki and cord cutting practitioner, and a tarot card reader. If you'd like to book a personal reading, check out the description box below for details. Before we get into today's video, please take a moment to like the video and share with others who you think may enjoy these pick a card readings. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. This will help me know what material you enjoy and what resonates for you so I know what to create more of. In today's reading, I'll be channeling three surprises coming your way in the future and I'm really excited about what comes through for you all and I can't wait to hear what resonates for you in the comments. So let's take a look at our piles here. As you can see, we have got four today for you to choose from, and we have painted rocks to help us pick today. So, group one, we have this painted bear. Group two, owl. Group three, allium. Group four, daisies. So take a moment to relax, inhale slowly and exhale deeply, scan the piles here and make your choice. You can pause the video should you need more time to choose, timestamps and chapters are listed below. I'll see you in your video. Hi group one, welcome to your three surprises reading. If you picked the bear, then you are in the right place. Okay, let's take a look at your first surprise. I'm gonna clear off our cards, our other surprises, and start with our first. So, we have Justice. Three of Swords. And the Star. Okay, so right off the bat, group one, I feel we have a situation involving some polarity here, duality, and it's coming to a close. So perhaps you and a loved one or a close friend were disagreeing or occupying opposite ends of the spectrum and space. There was definitely a heartbreak and a period of tough times that left you feeling sad or it may have left you feeling sore. And with a red here, this is really coming out to me. So I do feel that this is indeed a family tie. And perhaps this idea of family ties, this is the only thing that was binding you two together in the midst of everything that was happening. The sharp words of somebody being underscored by blood ties. Yeah, being the only thing that holds you together. It made things, I think, for you even harder, perhaps, than if it had just been a friend. So it might be that more people got involved than should have because of the situation. Perhaps members of your family or you were reminded at one point or another blood's thicker than water get over this be the bigger person blah 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 these kinds of words can be very toxic when someone is trying to force their own agenda onto you and so you may have been stuck between a rock and a hard place group one now three swords can indicate the number three such as the situation lasted three months or three years. This could have to do with a third party situation for some of you. I do think so much of this is about reflection. You know, given what we're seeing here with the cats on this justice card, they're mirroring each other. We have a light side, we have a dark side and notice the diamond between them. The dark is on the light side and the light is on the dark side. So I think a lot of the situation had to do with perception. The perception of, of how we look at ourselves when we're in the mirror, the perception of how, how we see other people. 
And while I'm not trying to minimize anything, any hardships that you might have endured, your feelings are valid, your feelings are real, I'm not giving the other person an excuse either, if, especially if they behaved poorly. But I do think a lot of this has to do, you know, with, with obviously both parties struggling at the time, but there's wires that were a bit crossed. And there might have been some blaming, there might have been some finger pointing. As I'm looking at the cats, they're looking over their shoulder almost like if you have cats, you know, they, they kind of give you this look, <laughs> like if you've disturbed them. And, and you're kind of getting some sass right there. Yeah, you know how when you play with a cat and you might tease them a little bit and you get them riled up? <laughs> if you have another cat <laughs> or another animal, the cat you're teasing will often turn and let out their energy onto the unsuspecting critter that's nearby. And so this situation, the energy does feel a little bit like this. You know, perhaps the parties involved needed to look into the mirror and see what needed handling instead of lashing out. Because we know swords, as I often say, and we have them here again, they, they can cut, obviously, and they can cut to heal, as in a surgeon's cut, or they can cut to harm. But here's the thing, here's the surprise, right? In, in the dark here, guiding through this darkness, we have hope with the star and the blending of, of light and dark coming together. So I do think you were able or will be able to move past whatever this was. Although there may be some scars from the situation, but there's no more swords here. No sharp words. This is the birth of a new understanding and a new beginning for you and this, this other person. You are better together, this rainbow star says. There's more color in the world with, with this blending and merging that's happening. Then when you were in this dark space and situation. And so the hope here and the difference here is that you are better together than you are alone. And so things may be better for you or going to be better down the road. Yeah. So again, this might've been happening for a little while, three months, three weeks, three years for some of you. Three again is really popping out to me, so I can't remember. I think I started to talk about it, and I don't remember if I got into that all the way. But your this is your first surprise coming up, is there's a healing of the situation, something that's been hurtful in the past. This is, this is the energy you're coming into, which is just absolutely beautiful. All right, so that's surprise one. I'm going to clear this off so we have room for our next group here. Let's take a look at our cards. Okay, so we have the Empress. We've got cards that are stuck together. The Five of Swords. And we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, very nice. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so... <laughs> With this situation and this surprise, this is regarding, I believe, family or something to do with your body, your physical health, or getting more in touch with your physical side. As we have this Empress card here. Look at all the, f we're having a feast here. We're in the kitchen cooking things up. Um, some, something to remember, sometimes we spiritual folks can get a little too much into our upper chakras and we become a little airy fairy without realizing it. So getting grounded by a physical means is a really great thing to do. Especially if you think you're a little spacey or out of touch with your everyday. A way to check this is, are you, <laughs> are you like stubbing your toes? Are you tripping by accidents? Are you sometimes like running into walls or like, you know, banging up your body? misplacing things like your keys, your wallet. These are just a few small signs that you may be flitting around in the upper chakras a bit too much. And this Empress card can indicate that 
you are starting to come home to yourself it's time for this and so what that can be for for anyone is this could be a lot of different things such as you're going to get more fit you're maybe eating better right now you're paying attention to what your body needs starting a new hobby for some of you a venture that involves movement, getting grounded, feeling more comfortable and loving in your body, or perhaps for some of you it is family expansion, as the Empress can indicate that as well. Um, and some of you might be getting a cat, <laughs> or the cat's adopting you. That's usually what happens anyway. And since we talked about cats last time, I feel like this is my cat pile, so cat people. <laughs> if this is you, let me know it's you in the comment box below. But I really do see that this second surprise is something, group one, that you wanted and is a goal that you've had your eye on for some time. We're really looking at this. Something that you maybe didn't think was within reach for you and yet now is the time. The energy is there, it's on its way. So I do think you have likely done many things to try to move this goal along. But I do feel, as I'm saying this, this is almost like we have this resistance with a boulder and there's this big weight and it was just this invisible resistance that kept you at arm's length from your goal. But the great thing is, is the weight has been lifted for you. It's moved away. And with this, we have the 10 of cups, which is fulfillment and it's harmony. It's, it's really honestly one of the best cards that you can get in the deck it's total happiness it's joy it's contentment so whatever it is you're working on group one keep it up stay positive and know that things are happening things are moving for you okay so that has to do with your second surprise that's coming your way and let's look at number three okay we added in an extra card for this one. We've got Knight of Cups. I love the embroidered forest tarot. The moon. That is just such a pretty deck. The Queen of Swords. I'm going to move these guys in a little bit. And here we have Patience and Planning. I do feel like I want to put this here. We'll scoot you up. Okay. Okay. So, for some of you, there is an opportunity to move forward with a business venture that you may have had your eye on. And for singles, there's actually quite a bit of opportunity here I'm seeing for love to come in for others the surprise might be about a unification of the mind and the emotions which can lead to a greater peace pleasure and enhanced intuition some of you also may be looking to sell a house and relocate or get a different job. You may be getting a raise or promotion, a total change in your life and how you live it. There may be, I, I really think there are many ways that this surprise can manifest. And for some, it may be more than one of those examples that I just listed. I just am seeing a lot of different options for you, group one. Yeah, so you, it may be a combination of things or other things that I haven't come up with. So I would love to know what this particular thing is for you, group one. But with the swan here, the knight of cups with the emotions and then the queen of swords, the bee, the way they're facing each other, we've got the moon is the bridge in the middle here. And the moon can represent fears, but it also represents intuition. It's a beautiful card. And there is a message here not to let your fears block you from what you want. If you've got a goal here, if you've got your eye on something, this is the message that you're getting in your own way a little bit. But the good news is there is opportunity for unification here and for your goal to be reached. We want the swan and the bee to meet in the middle. There just requires a bit of a support system that needs to be in place here, right? Some foundational work that needs to be done. And that's the way I'm seeing this, these pillars supporting that. 
So there's a need to be patient and continue to do your work, work, your research, but also there is a message here. Have faith as well. Have faith in yourself that things will work out exactly as they are meant to. To me, the timeline on this does feel a little longer, so it may take a bit of time for the surprise to come to fruition. But the good news is that it is absolutely possible. It's in your energy field or it wouldn't be popping up for you right now. This is something that you can make happen. So whatever dream you've had your eye on for yourself, it can happen. Just make sure to put some time into the foundation so you start off on a strong, sure, and steady foot. Yeah, I do feel like this one is a little more ambiguous in terms of a direct context because we have so many different options that can be happening here. But this surprise has a lot of potential and it just, I feel it in my solar plexus that there's a lot of weight here and a lot of momentum. It's big momentum. So I am really excited for you group one. So don't forget to tell us all about it in the comment box below. So group one, those are your three surprises that are coming your way. Let me know about your surprises in the comment box below and what resonated with you today. Thank you so much for being here with me and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Hi group two, welcome to your three surprises reading. If you picked the owl, then you are in the right place. Okay, let's take a look at your cards. We're going to put aside pile three and pile two, there's your other surprises, and we'll start with what we have in your first surprise pile. Okay. So we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Emperor. Three of Wands. And Power. We'll stick you over here for now. Okay, so you may have had a situation where you were shouldering a lot of the responsibility for something. So you may have felt like you were giving 3,000% in, in whatever capacity this is and whatever this is about. You might have been stumbling around in the dark a little bit, feeling like you were tripping over your own two feet. Hands out in front of you, trying to find that little shred of light somewhere, or, or just a helping and a comforting hand. And if you sit in this energy for too long, it just it makes you exhausted, it makes you burned out. But what is popping in for you, your surprise? is this clear view light. The emperor's light is just plain as day. This is something that you've been looking for for a long time. You will be able now, from this perspective, not from this micro, is that right, micro? This is macro, bigger. You will be able to see angles you hadn't considered before. And I think you will have this perfect bird's eye view of the situation. So I think things at this juncture now are going to be looking up for you. The exhaustion I was speaking about here is not here anymore because this to me feels like you're bright eyed, you're bushy tailed, you're filled with enthusiasm for whatever task it is that you are trying to complete. So part of this little boost that you're getting in this clarity may be an additional support from a masculine type energy with both the emperor card here and power underneath. But again, that's only going to apply to some of you. It's more about the energy and less about the markers. This person may be someone in the physical or a spirit guide of some kind. You may also be hitting all the right strides and you just feel stronger and more clear. You're tapping into these inner power reserves that you didn't know you had. And as I say this, I'm actually seeing this giant hand coming down from the heaven. So I do suspect you are getting a boost from an external source. The thing is, this is going to be a permanent change for you, group two. 
if you're getting mentored or have temporary help, the lessons and the gifts are going to be staying with you. You have gone through the tough stuff and you come through seeing the rainbow amidst the storm clouds. It's not a temporary boost from a helping hand, but a new way to see the world, a new lens, a new skill set. Yeah, this is a great chance for you to finally get some rest and to see the world from new heights. So if there's some kind of project or thing that you've been working on for some time, just think about this as something that is bringing you relief and you can relax a little bit. This is going to be very, very good for you. Just let out that big sigh of relief, whatever that is. And so that's what we have for our first surprise going in here. And I'm gonna clear this off and then get into our second surprise. Okay. So surprise two, we have the lovers. And Queen of Coins. You can come over here now. And the Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay, so for some of you, this is going to be pretty literal. Um, for those of you on the market, you may have a new love interest that's making an appearance, so that might be your surprise. And I think this person, if this is the case, they are going to see you as this queen of coins right here, as somebody who has it all and wants to build, they want to build a future with you. This isn't just flash in the pan chemistry, but it's something that is has much more depth and stability to it. With this Ace of Cups, this is a healing and wonderful offering of pure emotion and gratitude of, of love for you. This isn't going to be somebody who is hiding their emotions behind a mask. They're going to be transparent. They are someone who sees you in all your worth and all your glory. They want to build something stable and new with you. For some of you, this partner may be a little bit younger than you, or I think they just have this very honest and earnest way of wearing their heart and emotions on their sleeve that just feels pure and has a kind of a youthful optimism to it. And for those of you who are in a relationship, this can signify, this, this surprise can signify a deepening of your bond. The lovers can also indicate a contract, two parties coming together to achieve something. So your person may want to take things to the next level with you, create a stable future for the two of you and will likewise as I mentioned, um, you know, with the singles, they, they likewise will be very open and forthcoming about their feelings with you. So for some of you, marriage material. But for other people, not because not everybody's into the love thing, this doesn't have to be about love. The lover's card, even though it says lovers, it says I love you on there, it doesn't have to be about that. It can be about friendship. It can be about caring. It can be about other relationships. It can be the deepening of a significant and lifelong friendship or bond. Now, as I'm saying that, I'm being shown, it looks like wood to me and wood glue. And I'm not sure, but I think, does it have to set or cure in order for things to come together? I'm seeing like, what do you call that when you have the two angles coming together, like a joint or a joist or something? So this reminds me of that. So you want to be on the eye for new friendships or just a deepening of your old relationships and friendships if the idea of a love match is not on the plate for you right now. We also have to keep in mind that this can also just be about a contract or a partnership coming into play. Something finally working, a merger or something that you've had your eye on, a resolution to work problems or financial or other legal matters that you've been concerned about. So with this second surprise coming, you will be confident, group two, you will be secure and you will be happy going forward. So that is what we have for the second surprise. Okay, and for surprise three, we have the chariot. This is such a cool card. 
Oh my gosh, I love that. The four. Temperance, wow. Okay, we're all major arcana so far. And this is one where I was compelled to pull a fourth card, so I'm gonna move our little owl friend again. And we have the Page of Swords. I just love this deck, okay. All right, so this is a big one. Hmm. So there is going to be a big boost for you, group two, in some kind of aspect of the mind or perhaps the way that you view yourself. I do think change is coming quickly on this one because I see you reaching a peak or a pinnacle of something that you've been focused on for a while. So this could have to do with a hobby or work or some kind of goal that involves the mind and it involves pushing yourself a little bit. And because this over here, this temperance does look like a mirror to me, we have this duality here and this may have to do with your mind and how you view yourself, how you treat yourself. And because we again have these three major arcana cards in this pull, which hasn't happened at all, it didn't happen in the first group, um, don't tell them. This is a big thing for you, it's a big change. So you may feel some kind of vast relief or joy or success, some kind of happiness and fulfillment once this third surprise manifests itself for you. And with the chariot here, again, I do feel like this is coming on more quickly than you anticipated. This may be one of those things that somewhere you may have felt was coming closer to you on a gut level, but perhaps you didn't have any inclination you were starting to work towards this goal, say two or three months prior to you watching this, and then suddenly you're in the midst of it. So there is this new balance here, a unionization of opposites, a control, mastery, their speed. And then with this Fool card, this could be in regards to an issue you've been living with for some time and you won't be able to believe when it has come to fruition. Like, holy heck, I can't believe I made this happen. I've been struggling with whatever it is, maybe self-image or mastering a language or connecting with a particular group of people. And suddenly you're here, you're at the pinnacle, you're at the peak. The Fool does indicate also, as always, new growth forward. So once you've accepted the surprise, the question is, where will you tread next? What's next for you? Because as we end one journey, we begin our next. So where will you cast your gaze? How will you challenge yourself to grow? The Fool and the Page are both youthful energies and illustrate the next steps towards a new challenge. I'm going to save the mental body likely and that challenge is being met with love and with enthusiasm and with temperance it's showing this balance here mm. and part of the journey may be about healing mental constructs and thoughts getting parts of your thought process and belief systems into balance and into love temperance is sag I believe that's right. And the chariot is cancer. So we have this duality, this yin and yang unification here. It's just like if these otters were looking into a mirror and they're reaching out to embrace one another. And so this also may point out too though that you will have a nice period of rest to accompany all of these changes. You will walk away from your accomplishments, refreshed and at peace and just ready for the next thing. And I, I do see you feeling empowered and feeling ready to go too. Yeah, a lot of quick movement here. Things things are coming rapidly and it's, it's a big one, guys. So you will know what I'm talking about. So group two, those are your three surprises coming your way. Please let me know in the comments about what these surprises are and what resonated with you today in this video. So thanks for being here with me. I appreciate it so much and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Hi, group three. Welcome to your three surprise reading. So if you picked the allium, then you are in the right place. All right, so we have three different decks we're working with for our three surprises, and I'm going to put those off to the side and start with our very first surprise, 
with the Wild Unknown deck. And I think I had a few extra cards for this one, so we're going to move the Audium down here. Okay. So, to start off with, we have the Six of Swords. Three of Swords. The Devil. Two of Wands. And the World. Now that's a nice way to end. Okay. I'll move you up there. All right, let's take a look here, friends. So we have some heavy kind of energy that you may have been dealing with here. So I think for you, your very first surprise is actually about you being able to move forward from a situation that has possibly broken your heart. There may have been something that was keeping you in thrall for some time, a person, a way of life, an experience, an addiction for some of you, perhaps food, tobacco, drugs, or a way of thinking. It doesn't have to be quite that heavy, but just a way of thinking for some of you that was ingrained. Something holding you back, a sad experience that perhaps that you felt chained to, and this surprise is the rainbow beyond. So one of your surprises, group three, is leaving the situation in the rear view and moving on. So notice here how we have the swords in a heap underneath the rainbow. You've left any heavy mental energies behind and you are literally floating up here in the stratosphere now. So instead of feeling any heaviness or temptation that we might with that devil card, there isn't that feeling of being chained, but an energy now that is more focused on the journey to come. So instead of the huge contrast that we have here with the darkness under this very thin, Play of colored light we are completely immersed in the rainbow here and to me this card it almost looks like a path it looks like railroad tracks going off into the distance with that perspective there so it's you heading down a new path heading toward that new future staying focused on you so it's almost like having blinders on to the, what the experience was here however it doesn't mean that you forgot or that you do forget where you've come from. On the contrary, to me, this is about integrating all of the parts of yourself. So that when others speak to you, they know that they are talking to somebody who sits in sovereignty. They know they are talking to somebody who has come home to themselves. They know they are speaking with someone who is wearing their crown. We are all works in progress, and this progress is going to be picking up momentum for you in the days and the weeks to come, group three. And I'm almost seeing you know, wheels on a train going forward there, just picking up that speed slowly, faster, faster, faster. Yeah, and for you especially, if this is something you've already been trying to move forward from and you're needing this bit of encouragement, then you are in the right place. So this is for you to know that the rainbow is there group three and it gets done this will get done by your own power and of course the assistance and support of others should you need it in the end your view changes your outlook you're becoming more you and the world here signifies this completion with this round fullness that we have here yeah and this is almost like the snake snake scales Kind of going around like an Ouroboros chasing its tail. We don't have the figure eight, but to me, it's just that completeness that's happening there. Yeah, this is the end of the journey and the start of something that is new and it's beautiful and it's fresh. You can even notice we have little flowers in the center here. This is a promise of fresh days to come. Just very, very big blessings for you, group three. I'd say probably of all the groups that this has, this feels like the biggest impact so far. So don't, don't tell group one or group two about that, but that's what I am seeing for your first surprise. And then we're gonna take a look at your next card. So group three, here is your second surprise. 
We have the Six of Swords. We just had the Six of Swords, so this is the second time this is showing up for you. Two of Coins. Oh, he looks like he's balancing on that. The Ace of Cups. There was some of this similar energy in the last group, so if you felt a pull towards that, you might want to check it out. And then we also have the Throat Chakra. That does feel pretty important for you guys. Move you up there. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, the second surprise chases on the heels of the first because, again, we have this situation of leaving something behind, moving away from something that doesn't serve us. This was the card with the rainbow on it. So this could be, the second surprise could be a bit of a domino effect from those changes that were happening for you. But this could also be a second situation that involves you moving on from troubled times, or this actually could be about a loved one because this, this is from the last unicorn deck, and if you know anything about the story um, or the, the anime that came out, the movie, we have Prince Lear here who's escorting Lady Amalthea uh, protectively. And so you may be in the Prince Lear role where you're the protector, or you may be like Lady Amalthea and you are being protected. So the situation may be involving you or someone close to you. And with the Two of Coins and the Ace of Cups, this is you balancing out aspects of your life where you may have felt a lack of control before. And this doesn't mean you're literally controlling life, but rather being more able to go with the flow. Emotions are free flowing, they're healing. So I think things naturally become more regulated for you with time and you may find that you actually have more free time on your hands and just have a better overall balance to what is happening within your world. This change is really big healing energy for you and you drink from these waters so you feel like you are on much more stable ground, group three. And because of the throat chakra here, this is pretty specific. Um, this can mean that you or a loved one finds, you find your voice, they find their voice again. This could literally be for some of you or your loved ones being able to speak again if there's been some kind of illness or injury. And for others, it is more of a metaphor being able to speak up. So if this is resonating for you, I do feel that the color blue or turquoise is going to be very, very important as this energetically resonates with the throat chakra center. So wearing blue or turquoise near the throat is something that will be good for you and will encourage the movement and healing surrounding this energy center, which can help you to continue to move energy here, kind of moving out the old stuff and bringing in the new stuff. Now, even drinking out of blue or turquoise mug would be good for you or a cup of some kind, especially with the Ace of Cups here with this. Yeah. This is a little unusual. I don't think I've ever had a message quite like this. But I am feeling this pull to that. So the throat really is popping up for me. So with the Ace of Cups, I do often think of this as healing offering, a healing offering, you know, drinking from the water. And I actually have peppermint tea I like to drink, and the label on the bag is a similar blue. So herbal peppermint tea may also be something for some of you. You may want to cut down your caffeine consumption and increase your water or herbal tea intake if possible. Now those are just a couple of things you can do to continue the healing beyond what is already happening here with what we see with this Ace of Cups. Now if this isn't about you and it's about a loved one, maybe you get them you know, a blue bandana to wear around their neck or a necklace with turquoise or a blue stone, get them you know, a turquoise colored mug. And again, these are just suggestions, but when you engage in this kind of energy work on this very practical level, you are indicating to your guides in the universe that you are ready for more healing and that open invitation will allow more clear energy to flow through you and will help sweep out any astral debris that has accumulated here. And I think you will find with this particular situation, group three, that you will have more of this balance that you strike in your life that before felt uneven or perhaps even impossible to you. And that's not the situation any longer. Things are much clearer now going forward for you and you will be feeling steady and ready for things to come. 
So that was unique. I don't think I've had one quite like that yet. Very interesting. Okay, and we're going to look at our last surprise here. Queen of Wands. This is the embroidered forest tarot and I love it. So pretty. Three of Swords. This is coming up a lot, actually. It's been coming up quite a bit in the readings. The Empress. Aw, natal bunnies. And excellent. Okay, the Queen of Cups. No, 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 no. It wants to go over here. We want to be in a row today. Sometimes the cards are bossy. That feels better. Okay, so <laughs> this again feels like past energy is getting resolved for you, group three. You notice how our situation here, I had to move this queen up here. What's going on here is flanked by two queens, like we have bookends almost in a library. It's like the story is starting here. We're going to be coming full circle. And so I think this is you, perhaps a bit younger, sitting in a place where you felt good, you felt attractive, you were sitting in your power, like just enjoying life. You know, and then we have a shift. Something happens and this is where your heart breaks. I almost see this as a bee that is flying away from the hive, like they're running away from home like a younger energy so perhaps there was some kind of situation or separation with a loved one it does feel like you may have made a choice from this queen of wands energy and it just didn't jive with somebody in your life who has more sword energy about them someone who thinks of their head and maybe is a bit cut off from their emotions or you know like their creativity or they might even suppress their feelings so they're not feeling them because they feel them so deeply like they're actually probably very, very deeply emotional, like still waters run deep. This person feels very cut off and very, very different from your energy at this time. And so this does feel like a separation that happened and possibly for some of you, it lasted quite some time. But with the Empress card here, we've got the mothering energy that's coming through here, the mother rabbit and baby rabbits. So for some of you watching this, and this is likely not a huge percentage of you. This is a reunification with a child or a parent with some kind of, I guess, authority figure that you might consider a parent type role or someone that you would consider that perhaps you took care of them in some way, shape or form if it's a child. So it may have been a falling out with a child or a parent or some kind of a figure like that that had happened and reunification is on the horizon for you. And, and I think for some of you, it's just the beginning of things. With the Queen of Cups energy, this shows someone who's in touch with their emotions, which is a huge contrast from this B over here on the sword card, all logic and emotional suppression is how that's coming through. But underneath the heart is still hurting. This of course doesn't have to indicate strictly a mother-child reunification. It can also point to friendships becoming mended or other relationships as well. And what's beautiful about this to me beyond the context of reunification is the emotional growth that's happening here, group four. The love. There's a maturation of this person from here to here. And a, there's like a new understanding for them. And this is something that feels like it's brimming with potential. It's a gift in and of itself, knowing that change has happened for your loved one and that they carry this with them beyond the relationship. So this isn't just reunification, but it's a complete change for this person. All right, it's pretty specific, but that's what's coming through today. So group three, those are the three surprises coming your way. Let me know in the comments about these surprises and what resonated with you today. Thanks for being here with me. I will see you in the next video. Hi, group four. Welcome to your three surprises reading. If you picked this daisy rock, then you are in the right place. Okay, so we have three surprises and three different decks we're working with. We're going to start with your very first pile. Let's take a look at your cards. 
Five of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Beautiful. And the star. Very nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, group four, your very first surprise here. Okay, this is going to be a little weird. <laughs> this is going a little bit differently than I might ordinarily read this. It's a little specific. I see you as this rose. And this petal right here is a tear. There's some sorrow, but I, it's more of a feeling of longing that I'm getting here. And it feels very big, very, very big. A big piece of you missing something or missing someone. A place, a person, a time period. I'm almost seeing this as like a, a timeline. Different events that happened and it's almost like you're this flower that's been planted out of time in the wrong time. So for some of you, this may be a bit out there for those who don't describe to this, uh, but bear with me as it needs to be said. So I am seeing this as separation across the veil. Like you had a past lifetime with someone or s in a specific place and your soul is the thing that's feeling this longing. It's doing this crying out. So you may be pulled to a certain place or a time period, or you may even experience glimpses and memories of this past life. So you may know there is a part of you that has one foot here, but the other is elsewhere. So the feeling I'm getting right now is, is kind of intense. Yeah. So if this applies to you, absolutely absolutely yes you absolutely know who you are and it's unfortunate we don't have a word for this kind of longing in the English language because they have words to describe this feeling in other languages just a longing for a place you've never been to or that your soul is crying out for that your, your soul's crying out for something and it's maybe unknowable and if you aren't in this camp you may be experiencing similar feelings, a longing, a loss, a sorrow, but just perhaps not in the realm of missing a place that you've never been. And if we jump over here to the Two of Pentacles, this figure eight that's binding them together, in my head I am actually seeing this moving, right? And so there's this, the colors are changing rapidly. It's moving quite fast. They're chasing each other and the band draws these two pentacles in more tightly together. And so you, group four, may very well be drawing closer to another person from this past experience. Or you're discovering more about this past life, perhaps taking a trip somewhere. And because of this, there's going to be more stability and, and less of this. More balance. There's a stabilizing for you. And I don't think you're going to feel such a separation anymore, but a unity instead. So for some, this may indicate meeting soul family, okay? And to me, soul family are our soulmates. We have lots of them, people we choose to have experiences with over and over again in different life cycles. You may be having a connection with someone soon that helps ease this feeling here. Or perhaps you learn something that's, it's a balm for your soul. Balm, not bomb, B-A-L-M. It's something that allows you to move forward with more of a lightness in your being. And I don't know, maybe that's why the daisies work really well with this. It's just, that, that's such a happy flower. And with the star card, this is just hope. That's the way I always define it in, this, in its most simplistic sense. And I see this vast open night sky here as all the, these people and, and places that we're talking about are stars back here behind you. And you are this star here, this radiant and bright rainbow star. It's the rainbow from the band, right? And this is the two pentacles coming together and creating something new and fabulous together, two halves creating a whole. There was a little bit of this energy, I think it was in the very first reading, so if you were pulled to that, you might wanna check it out because we didn't end up with the same card as well. 
So this is you creating something new and fabulous together. Yeah, a brilliant light that's shining on the path that lies ahead for you. And this chapter of longing just comes to a very peaceful closure. So group four, that's a pretty unique message. And I'd love to hear about your experiences in the comment box below. Okay, cards for the next part. All right, from the last Unicorn Tarot, we've got Surprise 2, the Seven of Coins, the Empress, the Nine of Swords, these cards kind of stick together a little bit, the Knight of Wands, And the Two of Cups. Okay. Again, this is random. You guys are my random group. Um, just kind of going intuitively for this. I'm, I'm feeling this pull. I think you're moving to a new place. You're getting a new house. <laughs> I don't know where this is coming from, but that's what I'm seeing here. So you likely will be moving at some point, and that is the surprise that's coming your way. So here, you are busy, busy, busy getting things ready, perhaps preparing your own place that you are in to sell, to rent. You've got checklists. You're working hard to make the place look great for potential buyers. There may be painting involved home repairs, laying down tile, I don't know, whatever it is people do, getting a cleaning service or having friends help with that, decluttering, getting rid of junk, whatever it is that you need to do, you're doing it. And if you have pets, you definitely get that cleaning service or get some people to help you with that. If you have outdoor space, you could, I mean, for the people that have the money to do it, hire landscapers. Um, I know I don't, but <laughs> you can have friends come help you one day for a day of cleaning up. That, that can be really fun. Um, and I know that there are some nerves here about this. That's where this Nine of Swords, that kind of sleepless night energy is coming from. You know, will it sell? Will it not? Will things settle the way I want them to? And I just really feel like this isn't anything outstanding. It's just typical nerves. It doesn't feel like full-blown anxiety attacks or, or anything of that nature. It's just you being conscientious about what needs to be done and you know nerves over what's happening down the road. And I really don't think though that you're going to be waiting too long once you list as we've got the wand energy here with the Knight of Wands, which is pretty quick. This may be a realtor or a friend, although it does feel like somebody who's a little bit more of an expert for me somebody who will help show you the ropes. So they're decisive, they're friendly, they know what they're doing, and that is where you realize you don't need to worry as much because, yeah, here you are. You're happy, you're enjoying what's around you, your new space, it's suddenly there, a place to begin anew and forge new pathways ahead. So yeah, this is your congratulations. So this energy here, yeah, I'm noticing the intensity of the gaze that's really getting to me. I feel like I have to come back to this. This is going to go forward much faster than you are thinking it's going to. Like, you may say one thing to this person and they're ahead seven steps. Yeah. And then you'll be getting emails, texts, whatever. This person's getting in touch with you, helping you line up the next thing. So, yeah, and then you have something to toast about. And it's gonna be what you want. You know, so you might be a nature person. There's a lot of nature around you. Um, for those of you that aren't, you know, it, it's going to be what you are looking at. And it's, it's a place for you to lay a foundation. You're going to be very happy with this. Emotionally fulfilled. This is very, very good for you. You can leave some of the more, you know, work, this work energy behind and you're just settling in, relaxing, and kind of enjoying the fruits of your labor, enjoying what's to come. So that is your second surprise. Oops, flying cards. 
And then we'll look at your third. Okay. All right. We have the King of Pentacles from the Embroidered Forest Tarot, which I just love. All right, the Ace of Wands. Nice, Ten of Cups. Very good. Okay. So, this is interesting. Usually I see this as you when I'm kind of intuitively reading left to right, but this is, that's, it's not. Okay, so some of you may have someone coming towards you, this is your third surprise, with an offering. You may not be looking for love, but somebody approaches you who is stable, abundant, and they're willing to give you what you need. And I almost see the circle of brown-eyed Susans here as a ring of protection. So it may be entirely possible that this person <laughs> with, with their king status is a little bit older than you or a tad more established and able to provide you with the type of support you need. You know, and from this relationship comes beauty and fulfillment and happiness, joy, contentment, you know, all of the wonderful things that make you light up in harmony and feel good where, with where you are. You know, this is just a settling of your heart and your soul, a sigh of contentment. You can rest easy in this energy and in this space. Yeah, and for some of you, this isn't a romantic or sexual type of relationship coming in, but it, something shifts in your world that makes it less rocky. It makes you feel more grounded. It makes you feel more protected. You gain stability. And you know, whether that's through a mentorship with somebody or an authority figure of some kind giving you news that you've been longing to hear, you're suddenly able to relax and be more in the moment. So you may have been waiting for news of getting into a program or waiting to hear back about an interview or those results of an interview, waiting on news from a doctor, something that gives you pause and that you were worried about at one point is not going to be a factor into your world as much any longer yeah because I'm just seeing this person as kind of the authority figure here and so finally you can rest you can recharge your batteries and you put all of this creative energy that's you've maybe been hoarding a little bit wow look at this doop, doop, doop. Um, and you put yeah you're putting this all now into what you do what you love, where you are, your family, friends, community, whatever it is that brings you bliss. It, it's almost like you couldn't, as, as I talked about hoarding the energy before, it's, it, you couldn't let go. It's like, yeah, we're squeezing this rock here, you know, but nothing's coming out of it. But now you can relax and yeah. And then we can see, oh, it's a pretty rock. Your creativity is able to flow. You're able to let go. There's just so much satisfaction that's coming for you, group three. And you, you do have a very firm and solid foundation going forward into the future. You know, I'm thinking back. I'm going to grab your other cards here. <laughs> going back to these. We had... We also had this, right? And we had that star. All of your endings have this same kind of, just look at all the possibilities that we have here. You know, there's hopefulness for you in, in everything here. There's steadiness. There's emotional fulfillment for you. So group four, you have a lot of good stuff coming um, and I'm super excited for you. So those are your three surprises coming your way let me know in the comments about what those surprises are what resonated for you today and thanks for being here with me i will see you in the next video take care